Hello friends. In this topic, we are going to discuss about kinematics of rectilinear motion with variable acceleration. This presentation is made by Mrs. N. N. Savan, Mr. M. A. Patwadhar and Y. D. Kute. Learning objectives of this lesson are to understand what is rectilinear motion with variable acceleration and apply the concept of variable acceleration to solve real life problems. We know a vehicle is normally not accelerated uniformly. Initially, it starts with zero acceleration, then rate of acceleration increase and when the desired speed is nearing, the rate of acceleration is reduced. By the time desired speed is picked up, acceleration is brought to zero. Thus, there are situations with varying acceleration. This graph shows velocity versus time. From the graph it is clear that velocity of particle goes on changing with respect to time. It is an example of variable acceleration. What is the difference between uniform acceleration and variable acceleration then? Uniform acceleration, a body has uniform acceleration when the velocity of body is increasing at same rate. Example of uniform acceleration is acceleration due, due to gravity that is motion under gravity. Variable acceleration. Variable acceleration occurs when the velocity of the body does not increase at the same rate. For example, the motion of a vehicle on a busy road. The variable acceleration or velocity or displacement is known is known such problems can be solved using differential equation as follows we know velocity is rate of change of displacement that is v is equal to ds upon dt and acceleration is given by a equal to dv upon dt so to get the velocity from acceleration equation if we integrate the equation for acceleration that is a equal to dv by dt we will get the velocity value of velocity Similarly, to get displacement from the equation of velocity, if we integrate this equation, that is V equal to ds upon dt, we will get the displacement S. A particle travel in a straight line such that for a short time t equal to 2 seconds to 6 seconds, its motion is described by V equal to 4 by A meter per second where a is in meter per second square. If v equal to 6 meter per second, when t equal to 2 seconds, determine the particle's acceleration when t is equal to 3 seconds. In this numerical or example, we can see with respect to time, velocity goes on changing and we are interested to find out acceleration for time t equal to 3 seconds. Here, equation is given that v is equal to 4 upon a, which can be written as a equal to 4 upon v. We know acceleration is a function of velocity. So, we can write a is equal to dv by dt. Integrating this equation for acceleration to get the velocity, to get the time, we can put the limits for velocity 6 to v and 2 to t. Solving this integration, we will get equation v square equal to 8t plus 20. As we want velocity acceleration at t equal to 3 seconds, so first we have to find out velocity at v equal to uh, t equal to 3 seconds. So substituting t equal to 3 in this equation, v square equal to 8t plus 20, we will get the value of velocity that is 6.63 meter per second. Again, substituting this value of velocity v equal to 6.63 meter per second in equation number 1 for acceleration, we get the value of acceleration as 0 0.0, uh, 0.603 meter per second square for t equal to 3 seconds. Thank you.